Alright ladies and gents and welcome back to Stellaris. Last time we left off we was preparing for a potential conflict with the Prime over here. We have both our fleets in this system and our transport fleet in this system here. <coughs> uh, no, sorry, it, it's coming near Christmas so um, texting about presents. <coughs> So I want to go a war with the Prime before uh, the end of the series. Let me just read these messages. Uh, right. So, <laughs> yes. Um, so I want to go with war with the Prime before the end of the series. I didn't notice, well, I did notice at the end of the last time, let me just find the plan, there we go, that they do have a defensive pact with two nations. Uh, these guys are quite weak, and I'm pretty sure my Federation allies will be able to take them on quite handily. Mind you, I say that. But uh, actually, I may have to split my fleets up. I'm building the trans. <coughs> a bastion. Um, whatever it was, I completely lost it. Here it is. I'm building the bastion here, and that is the quickest. Well, in fact, it's their only access to my territory that I can see. Yeah, it's their only access to my territory. So if I can hold them off here, in this region, then um, it'll leave my fleets able to deal with the uh, remainder, uh, with the prime, sorry, and the Fiat Interplanetary State is the other defensive ally, uh, they are, well they have to go for quite a bit of territory to get to us, but they can probably use gateways and wormholes, I shouldn't assume that they can't reach me, because of the sheer amount of ways to get around these days, uh, so yeah, plus these guys are apparently superior in power to us. Uh, their fleets are equivalent, their technology is equivalent, their naval capacity is higher, but I don't think they're using it. Um, so, yeah. Construction complete. Our, our planets are finishing their buildings. Um, we used up a lot of our resources on the planets alone because I intended to um, work on my stations as well. Initiating communications. So just minimize these. So we're upgrading these. I started upgrading these and I just about ran out before we got to this one. Oh, there's a thing waiting for me. Let's just upgrade them now. It'll take a while so I should be able to save up plenty of resources. What do you want? You want to give him <coughs> really? Uh, yeah, I can do that. You can have a bit of food, my friend. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Alternatively, I could try and pee these guys off as much as possible and get them to declare war on me because they have no like military allies. They only have defensive allies. So if I could annoy them sufficiently, let's go. Let's try and do that. Let's see. The role of the Philosian Prime is played out. Go where you belong. Uh, go where you belong. Uh, go where. Go where you belong from now on. The dustbin of history. Insult. Sending an insult will greatly reduce their opinion of us. Confirm. Um. <coughs> oh god. I've said like pizzas and suddenly it's brought a bit of coffee for me. Okay, there we go. Sorted. person sort of for Christmas. Just sneak 
to focus on my wife. <laughs> If I send my fleets here and here and wait for them to arrive in this system, we could, because they'd have to go through my station to get to this system, my station is quite strong. And what, basically what I'm trying to do is make sure I can make the enemy engage with the station first, take a beating from this and then move my fleets in to start picking away at them as they're fighting and we'd lose less ships that way, giving us the ability to push further into the space. That's the idea. Construction complete. Our planetary construction is finished. Construction complete. Someone that's Foreign Empire against our system, blah 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 blah. Who? Oh, the Empire. <coughs> Where are they? Empire of Kalala. <laughs> Put that up here. Um, they're not going to be friendly with me, can they? Because, you know, it's making claims. They're going to be in the unfriendly list. Go. Okay, things are shifting because we're making more. Okay, so it's not one that dislikes me. That's making claims on me. Okay, so it is a faction that actually likes me. Um, looking for Empire. Oh, good grief. Uh, I think my phone might be ringing in a second. Get signal interruption on the headphones. I can't see who these construction guys are. complete. Nope. Nope, not a clue. Never mind. I think what I should do is look towards some of these groups. Let's say. Would I like to commission a piece of art? Let's move away from that sun, it's blinding me a bit. It's really bright today. And on the screen lights just wash out everything out. Okay, so we would like to commission a piece of art. Uh, that would cost us 3,000. We have, well, plenty, yeah. It's a deal. Uh, uh, uh. Don't go away, I'd like to do other things. We would like to become your patron. So dear, what does this give us? Monthly unity, nice, and opinion. Nice. There we go. So that's the artisan trope there on the side. And then Marauder Clans. Curator, we need to talk to these guys. Can you help us with our research? I would like to purchase this. Okay. I think that's the only thing we can do with them, I'm not sure. I mean, like, aside from looking into mysteries of the universe. 
yeah, we can buy scientists from them later on, but no, no that's not necessary. We just need a trader now. There you go. Trader Enclave. Okay, there's not much we can do for these other than just make a permanent trade. So I might trade some energy for minerals. I don't really need to. I really don't. Maybe food for minerals. Say 50 food for uh, 25 minerals. Oh look, we received an insult. That's just um, come on, mouse. What are you doing to me? Yeah, Colossian Prime. Our mental network is vast, giving access to thoughts and ideas from every corner of our empire. But not one single entity has ever seen anything that would uh, lend merit. To your tragic existence. Oh, burn. Sick. Burn. Excuse me. Burned. Um, right, we need to choose a new path to follow. So it's either expansion dominion, supremacy. Expansion's not really used to us now because we've kind of done that. Dominion? What does this give us? Unlocks diplomatic demand va Oh! Yeah, let's do that. We can demand vassalization. We can uh, go to war with weaker powers and vassalize them. He says, looking to. Ah, uh, now see, the problem with going to war with these guys is the uh, I will get involved. The Prime will get involved. Equivalent. We need their alliance to break down somehow. How can we do that? Not entirely sure. We also could do with sell some food. Hmm. Station's still building up here. Many of them finished yet? This one should nearly be finished. Oh no, really not. 250 days. Wow. Okay, let's have a look at research then. Uh, energy weapon damage has 34 months remaining. Our uh, six slots. Empire Capital Construction uh, building has got one year remaining. Elgate Insight has got 55 months. I really want something bad to come out of this Elgate and just start ravaging the Prime. Or at least hurting them a little bit. Distracting them, if you will. Something that I can also, you know, I'm in a level to do with that. They have a lot of territory over here. Plants have got colonized. A lot of territory. They're really doing quite well considering they're hemmed in a lot. Especially by these marauders here. There's an option. Can we ask you to raid them? Oh. What's that? 
Uh, our warriors are already in the middle. Okay. Dang. <laughs> I was hoping I could get them to raid these guys. <laughs> start a rush kind of war. Let them let their fleets go up to deal with the pirate raids while we swoop in and start taking systems. Oh yeah. Pirate fleets are quite weak at this point in the game, though. That's the only downside. Uh, let's see. What can I do? What can I do? I really have nothing to do. We're kind of in a stalemate at the moment. Other than continuing to work on my stations and planets. <laughs> so this one's upgrading now. That's good news. What upgrades the its defense value will be? Why is the game paused? This development should be finished at some point. Really, there's not much to do. How's my construction ship doing now? That's a block here. We are building. Initiating communications. They want to give us 2,717 minerals for monthly aurelium, or we're going to say no. We really don't need that, let's be honest. Our mineral count is going up fairly rapidly, we're at nearly 600 income per month on that, so I can build two strongholds per month. I think, or maybe two fortresses, I'm not sure. Which one costs 300? I mean... I could build one and make a decent profit anyway, regardless. Nothing much I can do other than watching things build. Build faster, you bastards. <laughs> third fleet, but I've only got 48 points to use, so I don't think I can get a decent fleet out of that, not at all. Not really worth it, is it? Because, I was going to say look at the size of this thing, but yeah, it is a habitat, I think. It just was my construction ship. It's a place for people to live. Should be interesting. I've never built one of these before. I've always had the, um, always gone for the idea of it, but uh, I don't think I've ever played a game long enough through to actually fully use one before. I wonder if there's an achievement for it then. <laughs> I think we'll find out when we colonize it, shall we? Construction is going to take some time, though it is a very long construction time. So in the meantime, we'll look for other things we could potentially do, which I'm not sure about. Let's see. How long have you got now, sir? You have 300 odd days left. Yes, sir. So slow. What about you? You have 117 days left. Let me irritate you. I want to irritate you. Let me... Oh, that's fine. Right, I clicked. I don't know what that message was. Oh, someone else is putting a claim on me again. Who? Empire of Kaladar. I swear to God, there is no Empire of Kaladar. Oh, oh my god, right at the bottom. Right at the bottom. Wow, they're superior to us. Where are they? I should be more worried about these guys than anyone bloody else, really. Where are you, Empire of Kaladar? Oh. Right, 
Right, you're a million bloody miles away, but have you got a wormhole? Sounds rude. They may have a wormhole that connects to my space. This may be an issue. set up another defensive station at any system of mine that contains a wormhole. I believe that is what they're going for. Um, let's have a look. Looking for a wormhole, people. Looking for a wormhole. Initiating communications. One moment, my friends. Hello, what's this? Uh, Federation leadership change. Oh, right, we're in charge. <laughs> okay. um, energy credits for one monthly terraforming gases. I can... Who is this, anyway? I can do terraforming gases, I suppose. No, do you know what? No. No, go away. Um, Right, wormhole hunt. We're looking for a wormhole. Looking for the nearest wormhole in our space. I can't see one. There's got to be one though, aren't there? Wormholes are quite common. Construction complete. Oh shit. Um, there we go. Want to build an observatory here. Um, right, continue looking for the wormhole. Wormhole. I've got to have a wormhole. Ah, that's a gateway. We have a gateway. That could be something I need to keep an eye on. No, I can't see a wormhole. Just a gateway. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure where I defend then. In my experience, wormholes tend to be on black holes as well. I've been looking at every system, but I have a gateway there. Active gateway in this system. Oh, I've been activated. Hmm. I don't know. I'm very um, unsure right now. I don't know if I want to go to war because I'm pretty sure that they will also declare war on me then and there and I will be sandwiched. Sandwiched so hard. Oh, I should be able to finish building. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. War has broken out. Uh, between who and who. So I got the Ancano Empire versus the Sidarian Galactic Hegemony. Okay. Um, this fleet. This fleet's coming up to me. Come here, Fleety. Technology discovered. Okay, we've got a civics point to uh, enact. Let's meanwhile have a look at you. Command center. No. Better farms could do that. Better bio labs. That's most likely. What is your. Oh, it's pretty genius as well. That's good. Uh, Galactic Stock Exchange. <laughs> Interesting. Or oh, the resource. I'm going to go for the bio labs. So 
upgrade the crap out of them. In the meantime, we need to have a look at our government and reform. We have an extra civics point to spend. Let's see. This gives us what? I'm going to look back. I'm reading the wrong bit. I was looking near the bottom. Corporate Dominion. Trading hubs produce one extra energy. Yeah, it could be useful. Cutthroat <coughs> politics. Edicts are cheaper. Tempting, tempting. Environmentalists. We don't use as many uh, consumer goods. Free Haven. Alien migration attraction. Uh, no. We've got plenty of aliens. Idealistic foundation. Citizen pop happiness plus 5%. Meteocracy. This gives us leader level cap and leader pool size. Mining guilds. Mineral production plus a ten percent. Police state gives us minus twenty five percent unrest. Doesn't seem to be an issue now. Shadow Council gives us the faction influence. Oh, election influence gets minus seventy five percent. I'm running to think we can't do here. I think it's either mining guilds get our mineral production slightly up, or environmentalists get our thingy cost down a bit. Go for environmentalists. Reform. There you go, that takes us to 655 minerals. It's an amount that we're not going to need, really, let's be honest. Unless we're doing a lot of. Uh, if we need to rebuild a fleet shortly followed by needing to rebuild another fleet. <laughs> so look at this one. Look at that, an 108k stack fleet. To which uh, apparently... Yep. I had the game pause, didn't realise. That is a big fleet. 28 battleships. Eight cruisers, 31 destroyers, 26 corvettes. Oh, now we've got a bit of unrest. Who's commenced war again? Oh, yes, the Akano Empire. Okay. So, when they fleet to go here, and then uh, we need to make this decision of where to go and what to do. Oh. Insanity, humanity. Okay, I seem to be okay. Think about having dual screens, it's kind of annoying. And sometimes when you go to scale to one of the corners of your game screen, it kind of decides to just go off into the other screen. Okay. Confederated Osberian Sons, what do you want? Incoming transfer. Greetings in Faris. Blah, blah, blah. A, re a recent Osberian archaeological ex expedition. One of our planets, okay. Oh, uh, they're sending us a gift of something. Oh, we gain an artifact. Okay. Let's see, what can we build here that could be useful? Oh, it's game for us. There we go, thank you very much. Let's see, what can we build that could be useful? Attack up, but computer, not really useful. Defense grid, supercomputer, not really useful. Deep space, black side. What does this give us? Uh, Unity. What? It costs us Unity?
gives us governess ethics attraction. I don't want it to cost us unity, no. Um, communications drama. I play Major Strat, I suppose. Get through the systems quicker. Oh, inside his home system located. Log updated. That's, uh, where is that? We finally have a job for our science ship to go on. <laughs> it's in our space as well. That's good news, good news, good news. Um, science ship, go hither and survey if the crap out of this system. You haven't got too far to go, to be honest. Let's have a look at it. Really? So we're right near the end of the... well, possibly the end of the game. We've finally learnt about this fallen empire. Track on that for giggles, just, just so we know where it is at all times. Yeah, yeah, there we go. <coughs> That's our job done. <laughs> After all these years. And it is in our uh, very first sector as well. So our sector is going to look out, I think. It may get. Unless it's research, then it doesn't look out. I know, I'm gulping anyway. It's kind of gross, but there you go. I might see if I can build a lot of habitats in uh, this sector, actually. Give them something to do with the uh, resources that they're not doing anything with. Let's have a look on Construction that. complete. Um, yeah, the both quite well actually I say that this sector isn't um this sector's got quite a lot of minerals considering it's, it's actually not doing much. Yeah these two sectors are quite uh, crowned with resources. <laughs> I think I should change them both back to balance. Because, let's face it, they're not doing anything other than keep clicking on the wrong thing. Especially this one, it's not done anything for a long time. This one. Oh, this one is still doing things. Currently developing star based in one system. It's still doing some of Let's still take some crap out of Construction of our habitat is it's getting up there, but we're not far, too far away from completing it. Should see on this panel somewhere. 64%. Okay, well, we're, we're a bit, a bit to go yet. Yeah. Just ignore me. Our science ship should be yeah, it's just three jumps away, two jumps away. One, two, three, three. Across the stars, and another claim put against us, no doubt, by the friggin' fla 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 bla 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 empire. Empire of fla bla bla bla. Really, 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 really need to uh, look into where they're gonna come from. I have no idea. War has broken out. Hello, who's declared war? Uh, 
the Polarian bloc has broken it against the uh, Lilite Civilian Coalition. Interesting. I hope the Civilian Coalition win. I really do. <laughs> Otherwise they're going to gain territory that may mean we don't have a single defensive direction. So it looks like our main shipyard is nearly finished its construction. Construction complete. Our bastion has finished. We need to upgrade that. There we go. We've got things to do. We've got things we can be doing. Bastion. How many more? Three more, as usual. Let us build. There we go. There's those three. And lastly, we need to decide what we can put here. I don't want that. I think we put all the things that would support us in combat, so maybe just a resource silo. Just boost up the amount of resources we can have at once. Looks like some of our trading platforms are nearly finished upgraded. That's great. Okay, so here we are in the. We are in the. Yes, yes, we are in the home system here. Let's do a bit of a survey and see what they've got. Where are you going? Why are you starting off? Oh, I press one button. Damn it. I mean, I'm used to having number three set to my science ship. I've got to set this one, haven't I? Okay, so he's starting off all the way down there for no particular reason, but never mind. We won't judge. It's not how you're going for us today, really, is it? is to be upgraded and constructed and whatnot. The downside with our trade ones, I think we have to upgrade them twice. Construction complete. There you go. Coming online. Free at once. Right, let's have a look here. Let's grab you first. Trading. Uh, let's see. Hangar Bay? No, no, no. Trade Bay. Uh, two of them. And let's think of what we can put in here. We've got a resource silo already. We don't need a listening post. Cruise quarters. Anomaly detected. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that for now. We'll come back to these. Naval Logistics Office. Hell yeah, that's going in there. Let's close that and press upgrade for the final time on that station. I think I may have to go through these one at a time. Let's see. Yeah, we're down to 11k now. I'll be able to do one more. Let's see here. Do trading cups if you don't mind, sir. A second, and so we've already built a naval logistics office. Have we built a recent silo? We have not. Great. Okie dokie. Isaria, the former homeworld of the Isarian Concordant. 
someone has uh, someone has re recently uh, a relatively recently within the last two thousand years gone through the gone through the trouble of systematically bombarding every square meter of the moon's uh, of the moon's surface from orbit possibly a misguided attempt to keep the Jafarian pox from uh, resurfacing. Despite this, the surface is still covered in um, what? Fossilized, rem fossilized, God damn it. fossilized remains of the uh, billions of trillions who uh, succumbed to the plague in the uh, in the final years of the empire by the time it has spread to the home world most of the worlds in the Eresian concordat had already uh, fallen and their alien vassals were in open revolt. Judging by ancient satellite, uh, judging by ancient satellite logs uh, recovered from orbit, the moon among uh, sorry the mood among the people on the on the Isarian homeworld was largely resigned by this point. The widespread panic that um, accompanied the first outbreaks of the pox on the colonies was largely absent as most uh, had come to accept the fact that the end was drawing near fascinating what do we get whoa unity gained oh, wow Ch shy of 10,000 nice uh, physics research gained 500. M wow, minerals gained 2000. That is pretty nice. Thank you very much. Low hole. Wow, 10, 10, 10. Oh, Jesus. This construction ship needs to get here as soon as possible. We need to do the rest of the surveying first, so. <laughs> so what was this? Uh, <coughs> this bit of research here. A significant amount of debris in orbit around this great uh, this gas giant. Most of it appears to come from uh, long lost starships of various configurations. Hmm. I wonder if this is just random happenstance or it's tied to the extinction here. Maybe there was a battle with the vassals, because the vassals were in open revolt as it just said. Maybe there was a, a battle around this planet uh, which these guys lost and then uh, the vassals came in and bombarded the crap out of their world simply so they would never get these this pox that was going around. Very interesting indeed. <coughs> it's mad how disease works, isn't it? Really is. So we have enough to. No, we don't. Uh, what's this? Hello. Incoming transmission. We apologize, uh, patron from Tazala. We have sadly um, reached something of a creative. Okay, so they want some money so they can. We hope the situation improves. So we give them some money. Or not. Do we not give them some money? Oh right, we can demand a refund. Oh, yeah, okay. No, we'll just carry on. Why would, why would we demand a refund? We've got so much uh, in the way of energy credits now. We don't. No, we 
I don't need a refund. <laughs> Even our food's climbing up slowly but surely. This system is already looking like a very good system to hold on to. And I am going to give it to the sector because research I get directly anyway. So I'm not bothered about that. That should be good, nice, and what's my construction ship? How far along are you, sir? You are 83% away along, that's good news. That's good news indeed. <laughs> so you are, uh, you are one over from my capital. Keep pressing the button. Does the same ship. In ages since we've explored a system like this. Busy system, this one, isn't it? It's got a lot of planets in it. A lot of things to explore and uh, observe, survey. Construction ship is not far from being done. to uh, various of his stations is nearly done. It's 10k, I could possibly do another one. Should we? Okay, we'll do another one. Um, let's see here. I'd give you two trading hubs. Let's see what you haven't got here yet. Um. Oh, you haven't got. Them. Resource silo, let's build you that. Close that and upgrade that. There we go, and that leaves us with 2,000. Your path is very confused. <laughs> up and down and up and down. Technology discovered. Hooray. What have we got? What did we get? I totally forgot what we were researching here, but let's have a look for another. We can get physics labs upgrades. I mean, we can't. Um, don't want that. Wormhole travels could be tempting. Or we could get some of these. Disruptors. Advanced shields. Point defense. Zero point reactors. Let's get some of them going. It's in his research group, otherwise I would have gone straight for the physics labs. Okay. Someone has leveled up. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Oh my god! Wow! Ten minerals on the single asteroid! A planet, I think, actually. Ten minerals. Is that like a destroyed world or something? It's not. It's just genuinely a toxic world. Wow. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm not going to complain at all. How is our, con oh, our construction of a habit habitation bay thing? Is nearly done. Construction complete. Some of our starports have been finished building up here. 
it said I'm going to let the bastions wait for a moment. I'm going to work on my trade hubs first. <coughs> so the system is almost finished survey, just got literally this planet and its moon. Uh, the civilian coalition, their governance, they have come more outwardly xenophilic. xenophilic yeah. We should really have a look for anyone who's willing to join our federation. The more I have my federation, the less likely other empires are to attack me. And the more um, allies I have, just in case they do. So let's just finish this moon. If I don't get a uh, special project on there, we're just going to go straight for this. It's taking time. Survey complete. Ah, I did have a special project. Okay. A strategic resource has been found. Uh, this is very nice. We'll leave. Don't know why I told her to leave it for now. We're going to research it right now. Research. What is it? We briefly detected some unusual energy readings. Okay, and this one is stable. Let's research that second. Construction ship until it's come here at some point and build me a station. Speaking of which, we should really nearly be finished. What percentage are we on? 98%. For habitation, habitat complete. Okie dokie. So we built a massive station basically above this gas giant. Let's see what this says. We have completed the construction of our first habitat and it is finally time, uh, it's finally time to ready a colony vessel and make landfall on the world we ourselves created um, from its mechanized core to the highest mountains every nut bolt creek and cranny has been designed to fit our needs perfectly in our new home among the stars yep you go off and do that Built ourselves a lovely habitat right here. We told for habitat. Select colonization. Uh, we'll just go for the capital, shall we? Or should we build a habitat for warriors? No, we want the supremacy of our species. We can land it anywhere because they're all blank tiles. Interesting idea. Just land you right there. We shall call this world a page spell. Have oh. Oh yes, son of a bitch. Habitat 1. No, I should use I. We'll use Roman numerals. Ok. 
Okay, there you go. A colony ship is being created just to uh, colonize that world. Uh, the magnetic field of Eras uh, 7B um, experienced a complete reversal while it was being observed uh, by the EIS Inc. Tanalala. This rare event has um, entrenched the position. Okay, what about that? Um, well, I'm not a very good reader. <laughs> then I don't I find me someone with a you know major visual impairment that, well, that can read too well. <laughs> it's basically what happens when I'm trying to focus on a line, it'll start. Um, it's very hard for my eyes to track a straight line. So, basically, I'll start reading, and then the word will either become mega, mega blurry, and you know, I have to proper focus to get an idea of what it says, or, uh, you know, my eyes will start reading the line underneath or above. It, it's very hard to track a straight, flat line. Sometimes I can do it fine. It depends on... Uh, I don't know, really. I don't know what it depends on. It's hard to say. It's not that I can't read, let's be honest. Um, it could be that I can't read. Who knows? <laughs> so you're off now to build the observation station which is a very cool name all the way down here I might just fast track you to building this first you know what? No, no I'll leave you to it I'll leave you, I'll leave you to it There's a lot of research there but I think I need this instant meanwhile we're gonna have a look at this debris field that we found Piracy. We do have two percent chance of pirates suddenly inhabiting this system. Maybe I will send the first fleet to just kind of make sure that doesn't happen. I've got a first fleet. I ho, I ho, it's hunting pirates we go. Just in case they sprout in the system, I ho. I ho, I ho, I ho. What do we need to do? We think we need to work on one of these trading posts. Do I have enough in the way of resources? Possibly not. The cube. This is interesting. I don't believe I've ever seen this one before, but it requires more in the way of reading. Among the husk of uh, derelict starships orbiting Eras 6, uh, we have discovered an almost intact alien research vessel. This ship's uh, logs reveal that it has uh, suffered a critical hardware at malfunction and was stuck in limbo for 142 days before the crew perished from malnutrition. The body of the captain was found on his uh, was found on his cot clutching a small metal cube, each side a different colour and split into nine equal relatable squares. A Rubik's Cube, then. Science Officer Gibb is convinced that... Um, oh, I'm sorry, one second. <coughs> is convinced that when uh, related in the correct pattern, 
cube will open and reveal a hidden uh, treasure. Rotate those squares, officer. Log updated. I swear to God, this is a bloody Rubik's Cube, isn't it? Do we just research it here? I assume we've taken it on board ourselves. Yep. Such a... It is just a bloody Rubik's Cube. Okay. No, apparently we didn't take it on board. We are sat on that said derelict ship. I see we're a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> it's just a game. <laughs> I love it, wasn't it? And all Rubik's Cubes lead to treasure. Which they don't. We never solved one in my life. Free phrasing, that's all right. So, about 9,000 should be enough to upgrade a full s the station. Special project complete. Slice and dice. Uh oh, that doesn't sound very good. The crew of the EIS. Trust, blah, blah, blah has subjected the metal cube to every code breaking <coughs> uh, all very uh, known to us and it has responded with nothing but silence is it a cipher a a container for valuable items. If there is no uh, meaning behind this cube, what then is the meaning of anything? <laughs> oh, good God. Were well, some of the thoughts uh, scumbled through the um, overworked mind of Science Officer Gibb? when she finally brought out the laser oh, when she finally brought out the oh, the laser and sliced uh, first the cube then her right pincer in half, oh dear the cube was empty oh dear because it was just a bloody Rubik's Cube <laughs> Oh my, okay. This game. Just, it, it, it's, it's good. <laughs> just events like that are just really random. <coughs> so we have a maimed science leader because she couldn't fathom out that a Rubik's Cube was just a puzzle game. Didn't lead to any treasure, didn't have any philosophical meaning behind it. Can I command my... I cannot, no, okay. Didn't think I could. I thought I might be able to... There's a chance I could command the construction ships of my sectors, but never mind. think of what I can do next. Not really much. Preparation for war has kind of gone cold now. So I'm just going to assume that that's not going to continue anytime soon, simply because yeah, there's too many def allies and defensive packs going on. 
so there's not really much expansion I can do without upsetting that balance. And it's highly likely we would be swarmed and quite well punished for uh, declaring war. Oh god, is that fleet here already? Oops! Oh, so it is. I mean, this, this fleet would rip these guys in two. It's just, the, my only problem is I don't know where our enemy are going to come from. I think my best bet is to build up this bastion first. And, um... Let's see. You can have a missile battery in a hangar bay. Here you will have do 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 No not a black site. Disruptor field generator. We will. In the meantime, over here, how many do we need? Wow, nine hundred and twenty. Let's get building, I suppose. That's a lot of building work to do. Front, I'm slightly concerned about. However, these guys are currently at war. Initiating communications. So there's a very chance that they won't actually. Hello. Declaration of war. These guys want to go. Go on, go on. Let's just pause this a second. Uh, 150 days. Empire of Kab ah, ha, ha. Yeah, I will vote yes for this because they keep threatening me. War has broken out. As indeed. Before we do that, let's have a look here. Uh, they're going to give us energy and minerals for terraforming gases. No, 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 no. Okay, so we need to find them again. Down here somewhere, I don't. I need to figure out how I get to them. The best way to do that is send this fleet to them. See if they've got any <coughs> gateways or wormholes or something. Oh, their empire is really spread bizarrely thin. I can't get to them anywhere. No, can't see any gateways or anything like that. If we just send up to a while where we can't get to our target, there's got to be a way to get <laughs> to them. Gateway, wormhole. Anything of the sort would do nicely. Why did they left those two systems completely? Oh. Concerning. There may be some dangerous creatures or something lying there. I can't see any gateways or anything for them. really can't see a way to get to them. Really, 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 really can't. You don't. Is there a wormhole in this space here? Come <laughs> on. 
<coughs> ah. I can't get there. That has got a wormhole though. Oh no, L gate. It's got an L gate. Oh no, it's a science nexus. Oh, they have a science nexus in their system. That is unfortunate. Anyway, let's continue looking for said way in. I can't. I just can't see one. Nowhere. To look for a potential neighbour, see if there's a way in. This planet's completely unexplored. These systems are either completely unexplored. Maybe there's a way in there. Excuse me. Um. <laughs> nope. We can get there though? Huh. You can get there. How are we getting there? It's a hell of a journey here. Aha. I see. So we can get into this. Right. So using gateways we can get to them. Which is that's great news. <laughs> um but is there any quicker way to get into the space? No, there is not. So going up here and around and down this way. Seems to be the only way. And we'll send both fleets to do that. So both our Federation and our second fleet are off. We have unrest once again for whatever reason. It appears our second fleet is slightly faster than our uh, Federation fleet. Which is a very interesting concept. Because meanwhile, you're still off to this system. And I'll just make sure pirates do not spawn there in the time it takes my construction ship to go build an observatory and get back up there. <coughs> Would it be worth sending my armies? Or, in fact, I think what I'm better doing is letting my uh, ally be the one to do the planetary landings. Construction complete. I think I will carry on construction projects after the war, because I should have saved up quite a lot of money. So by then, what time are we on? Oh, it's been an hour and 15 minutes, wow. <clears throat> okay, so what I'll do, I'll get to the region that I want to get to. Where's my Federation fleet? Oh, it's, it's slightly ahead. Okay, so they're, they're a bit faster. I'll get to the region I need to get to and then probably end it there so I can continue the war after that. I can't see the attrition because of the little box that's got my data. But this should knock our enemies down a peg or two. <laughs> so where are we going anyway? We're all the way down here. We are going to this gateway then, so that is their access point. <coughs> right, that makes sense. This is the only way they can get into my empire. So I possibly should defend that. I'm thinking anyway, that's, that's my thinking. It's the only one in the region that's unlocked anyway. use. Hello. Incoming transmission. 
We'd like to donate. Why not? This planet, what is this world? Is it an Arctic world? We could colonize it. Oh, you've already built three. That's very nice of you. Can't be so. Let's upgrade that. Proper base out of it. Let's colonize. We need an Arctic world. I'm scrolling too fast for my own good there. Technology right. discovered. Should we go continent? Uh, so we'll do that later. Right, let's have a look here. Technology discovered. We finished the Elgate re insight. It's good. And we're processing. Engineer for safety, what's your specialization? It's void craft, so we can't do that. Um, we can get this cruiser speed and cost. Is it the only one? It is, so we'll go for that. Enjoy. Establishing colony. Ah, good. Our uh, habitat is about to be colonized. Our fleet is. Still a fur trick away from this system. Yes, it is. Oh, wait, no, it isn't. No, it is. I'm very confused. I've confused myself. It is a fur trick away from this system, right? So let's have a look at colonizing this place. Let's look for an Arctic world, what is it? Continental, 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 ocean. Alpine, Alpine's good, but not great. Tundra, Gaia. We have a Gaia? Never noticed that. Never mind. Uh, ocean, continental, Alpine world, continental, Alpine, Alpine, tropical. Really? Do I not have any Arctic worlds? Oh, there you go. He says, just as he comes across one. Let's minimize you. Let's see which one's best for Arctic colonization. Oh, on the other hand, I could do robots, but let's see. Why are you on an Arctic world? My god. We'll give him robots. Is that it? And we shall plop ye, ye shall be here, I suppose. I shall call it. Ah, Open Prime, why not? There you go, enjoy. New world for you. Assuming this is it, it, it is, it is in my sector. Oh my god, this Federation fleet is actually much faster. It's gained so much ground. Unless it's got better um, hyperdrive engines, which is highly likely. I think it has much better hyperdrive engines. That was quick. Oh yeah, jump drives. It has jump drives. Yeah, that's much better than ours. We need them in our lives. I think our ships are subspace faster. Their ships are hyperspace much better. Their jump drives are quick. The construction ship is nearly done with the um, <coughs> observatory. It is done with the observatory, and now it's on its way back to build the uh, outpost. That's the one I'm looking for. Right. Did 
I select that station to actually upgrade? I don't think I did, you know. It's the pressure of time. They could be on the way here, which I highly doubt because they have to go through enemy territory to get here. Oh no, we did, we did set it to upgrade. That's, that's okay. That's good. It is on its way to being developed. Where's the gateway then? I want to see what it's like going through them. Oh, it's all the way up here. Do they just do that whole land over and then pew, gone? It's possibly what they do do. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'll end this video once we get to the destination to commence this war. And I'm going to render it and set it to uh, upload. And then probably record another one because I'm really enjoying it. Stellaris at the moment. Really, really enjoying it. Oh, why did it go all dark then? Do you see that? Weird. do as well. To set you, particularly you, to upgrade. Upgrade those first. Doing well. You've got one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five jumps before we get to uh, the gateway. jumps in the gateway, I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one pins to which. So we'll get a research. How are we doing? Like, ten months before we get the bio launch. That's nice. Two years before we get the cruiser build speed and cost reduction. And 29 months before we get the zero point reactor. So we're doing alright. See if we. It may get the biolabs before we get to our destination, but you know, whatever. Let's get rid of all these dominoes, applications. Two of have been updated. Cool! What time is it? Quarter past two. We oh, might not have time to do two videos today. Never mind. I've got Monday and Wednesday to go after this. I want to get as much done on those two days. And Thursday is the day that the expansion is released and this will become null and void. I suppose I could do some, I can't do some over the weekend, it's a birthday. I could do some on Sunday. Hmm. Either way, I think my schedule is going to be filled with because I've got quite a few uploaded that I haven't yet published, and I've got I've got quite a few ready to upload. I say that I've got two after this one that's ready to upload. <coughs> I try and do it so I do a video, render it, upload it, do a video, render it so it's ready to upload, and then do a video that's ready to render. So I have three on the go. It's like a little cycle. Before I record, I have to upload one, render another, which I usually do at the same time, and you know, 
the upload's quite quick-ish, it takes an hour or so. The rendering takes about three to four hours. It's just because of the simple size of the videos I'm doing, they're pretty damn big. This one's going to be easy, uh, nearly two hours, I think. It's like, a, it's like an entire live stream. Speed things up really. I have to end it here and just wait. No, I want to get to that system. As soon as I've done the gateway jump, um, I will end it and just do some of the construction work and whatnot off camera. I've got 12k, so I'm just going to focus on the planets though, I think, for the construction work because yeah, stations. They're costing a fortune to upgrade right now. If I've got enough left, I'll do a little work on that new bastion that I'm starting to build in this system. Let's have a look what it's like to use a gateway then. But it just does that thing where it just, yep, there. It just zaps you straight across. So where are we now? Okay, so we've got another little lengthy journey to go on to the next gateway. Oh no, no, sorry, no, my bad. We're, we're at our destination. We just need... Ships upgraded. Yeah, we're at our destination. We just need to actually get to the point where we can then travel into our enemy's territory. Okay, so I'm going to end it here anyway, so thank you guys for watching and yeah, join me again next time for some more Stellaris and hopefully we will get this conflict underway and we'll actually get to use this bloody 100k fleet. So, that'll be next time. So join me for that and I'll see you then, thanks for watching.